Hey guys, Jake here coming at you with another math lesson today. Here's the problem I'm going to be showing you today, continuing on with related rates. Um, I've got a bunch of other related rates videos if you want to check those out. Put a link up here and there's a link in the description if you want to check those out. But here's what we're doing today. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The problem is each side of a square is increasing at a rate of six centimeters per second. At what rate is the area of the square increasing when the area of the square is 16 centimeters squared? So just like all the other related rates videos I've done, we're going to follow the same four step process here. And the first of those four steps is to draw a sketch of what is being described in the problem. So the first thing we want to do is just kind of draw the information that we've been given. So first of all, we know that we're dealing with a square here, obviously. So let's start with that. And we also know that the sides of the square are increasing at a rate of six centimeters per second. So basically each of these sides is increasing at six centimeters per second, right? So they're all going to be growing. So basically our square is going to kind of expand outward in every direction. So all four sides are going to be growing. These are going to also be going at six centimeters per second. Um, but since we know it's a square, every side is going to be doing the same thing and they're all going to be the same length. You know, as the square grows, it's still going to remain a square. The sides aren't going to grow at different rates. And then really the only other piece of information we have is we want to figure out the rate that the area is increasing at the moment when the area is 16 centimeters squared. So basically we're looking at the point in time when the area is six centimeters squared and we know that this is how quickly the side lengths are growing and we need to figure out how quickly the area is increasing. So this is really all the information we have at this point. Fortunately, since we know it's a square, there's a lot of things that we can kind of assume based on the fact that we know it's a square. So let's go on to the second step of a related rates problem, which is to come up with your equation, which we're going to have to take the derivative of later on. So when you're coming up with your equation, you want to think about a couple things. First of all, what is the question asking you to find? So we know that it's asking us to find how quickly the area is changing or increasing. So what that tells us is what we're going to be looking for is the rate of change of the area with respect to time, right? How fast is the area increasing? But our equation should not have any rate of change in it. That's not going to come into play until the third step when we do implicit differentiation. For now, we just need to use actual physical measurements. Maybe it's angles or side lengths or area or volume or distance. Your equation should just have physical measurements. So if we know we need to get to the rate of change of the area, we need to first start with the area itself. And then once we take the derivative, that's when the rate of change piece will come into play. So that tells us we need to have area in our equation. The other thing you want to think about is what information you're actually given. Obviously we know area is going to be in our equation, but what other thing do we have here that we actually have some information about? Well, we have some information about the rate of change of each of the sides of the square. We don't know any information about the length of the sides at this given moment, but we do know the area. So maybe we could use the area to figure out those side lengths. So since we know the rate of change of the side lengths, that's a pretty good indication that the side lengths itself is something that is good to have in your equation because we already have all the information that we'll need to know once we take the derivative and introduce the rate of change of the side length. So what equation would relate the area of a square to the side lengths of the square? Well, it would just simply be area equals the length of each side squared, right? Since we know it's a square, the area of that square is just going to be the side length squared. So this is a perfectly good equation. Now we can go on to our third step, which is the implicit differentiation step. So all that means is we're going to be taking the derivative with respect to time of both sides of our equation. So basically that'll just be d dt of a and d dt of l squared. So taking the derivative with respect to time of a is going to be pretty simple because a we have to treat as a function of time. We're taking the derivative with respect to time. We don't know what a we don't have an explicit formula for a in terms of time. So the best we could do is just to say da dt, right? That basically just means the derivative of a with respect to time. Taking the derivative over here, we're going to have to apply chain rule because we have 
this L, which is a function of time as well. So we can treat that as its own function. And if we're applying the chain rule, we can treat that as the inside function. And then the outside function is where that squared comes into play. So chain rule says, do the derivative of the outside, leave the inside alone. So we'll bring the two down in front by the power rule, leave the inside the same. So we'll leave our L as L. We lower the power by one, two minus one is one. So we just have two L. And then by the chain rule, we need to multiply this by the derivative of our inside function. The derivative of L is just gonna be DL DT. Because again, L is a function of time. We have to treat it as its own function. And we don't know that function. So we don't really know its derivative. Therefore, DL DT is the best we could do. So here is our derivative after we've done our implicit differentiation step. Now, remember what the question asked us to find was how quickly the, the area is increasing. So we need to find dA dt. So all we need to do is plug in L and dL dt and that'll give us our solution. Well, we know that the side lengths are growing at six centimeters per second. So we know dL dt is gonna be six, but we don't know L. We do, however, know the area at this moment is 16 centimeters squared. So in fact, we can go back to our original equation a equals L squared, plug in 16 for A because we know the area is 16 at this moment, and solve for L. So taking the square root of both sides would give us L equals 4. So we can take this, plug it into our equation here, and that'll give us dA dt equals 2 times 4 times dL dt, which is 6, 2 times 4 times 6 would just leave us with 48 centimeters squared per second. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe. It's a really huge help to me. Really appreciate it, supporting the channel like that. And uh, hope to see you back next time.